I'll low again. So I'm just uh, doing direct comparison to the uh, scatter settings I had uh, before. Everything looks a little weird here, but that's just because I've got ambient light adjust on. So see, it looks pretty normal without that. Well, it looks like my standard anyway. Uh, so I'll just turn that up a bit because I don't like what it does in that view, but it's really useful in this view. It makes it so you can actually see the craft. I'll just make sure I've got my brightness setting okay. Uh, there we go. So now I'll see what you see. Uh, all right, so if you look at the edge, so uh, the horizon, so not seeing the issue we saw before at all. Um, I see it in one spot. I'll point it out right by the sun, but really I adjusted the, um, if you, I think I opened these before, I don't recall, or at the very least they were the default settings, so you can compare to that, but so it's the ground settings. Um, actually, I do want to set this a little higher sometime. I don't think that'll make really a difference now, but see, don't see really any horizon edge effect. I see a slight one there, but that's the whole point. So I adjusted the post-processing um, alpha, I believe, some of those settings to, to eliminate that line. And and I had to adjust it all the way up. See, you can already see it's not quite as good of a setting here at one kilometer up, but um, the higher you're going, the less you're paying attention to the line at the horizon. Um, but it's definitely better uh, than it was before, I find. And um, this is with OpenGL. Again, I haven't uh, done anything odd. You know, uh, The only thing I've done is go and gone over to buy um, my kind of tweaked config. And I want this comparison so that because you know you kind of lock into what you're uh, creating and tweaking and such. Oh, see, it still cuts off the sun. It's just you don't see that line. And so, if anybody can point out like terrible things, terrible ways this looks compared to the other one, um, not not with the ambient adjust light lighting. That's just so you can see the craft. Okay, uh, let's see. But with what I've done to the other settings to kind of get this line to blend at the horizon. Because uh, this just basically uh, disappears with these settings, other than the fact that it's the post-processing still cuts off a bit of that sun. Um, I wonder if there's a way to change the layer, because the sun should be showing despite that. And that might just be adjusting which layer the sun flare is showing in. But I don't know, maybe that's specific to me, or maybe that's specific to this. I think it's the, the default sun flare. Uh, but so if you keep observing the horizon, it just doesn't go weird, really. It looks pretty uh, pretty good to me. I did a bit of tweaking. That was the one and only thing I was tweaking for. So like if other stuff looks bad or weird to you, you know, be, be my guest and point it out. But in my um, RVE um, tweaking and, and such in all those videos, I believe these were the settings I was using. So I will... Um, post a link to a file. I'm not entirely sure where I want to host it, but I, you know, I want people to be able to access these settings as well because I think they're really good uh, settings for a scatterer. The only thing that uh, gives me trouble, which I think might be an unknown issue with scatterer, is around what 150, 160 kilometers or so up. Uh, it uh, gets really uh, shaded, foggy, whatever. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to try to address that, or if I want to address that, because it really doesn't bother me, but still, you know, nonetheless, if anybody posts a fix for that on the forum or in my comments or anything, um, I will definitely try them out. I'll just uh, fast forward here till I can get out uh, into orbit, because I want to show, I want to point that out, that that issue is still here. But yeah, the horizon looks fine. I set all those settings so that they blend it quite nicely. Uh, and it's about 70 kilometers, I get this weird pattern spreading out, but doesn't bother me too much, and so, whew. so it's. I find it really, really obvious. Um, why are you not prograde? Um, oh, see, it starts to kind of get weird around here, uh, where it looks like it's applying kind of a different post-processing effect. Um, but that doesn't last for very long. At 130, it kicks in here, so I can see all of Florida. It's a bit hazy, but that that's okay. That's kind of the effect I'm going for. But anyway, so once you're in space, I can still see a little bit of that edge effect, particularly at the edge of the Milky Way, uh, where the post-processing, you know, it's quite clearly not the same. You can see it all the way around, but I believe that's the post-processing. Let me find out. Oh, maybe not. It must be some other setting up at this altitude. And again, that's with extinction off. Um, 
But yeah, if you know of a way to adjust that line while in orbit, be you know, please let me know. Uh, you know, test it out, post configs. Um, but really, the point of this is so you know you can see what I've done to fix that uh, OpenGL edge horizon. Uh, I just I just adjusted the uh, the I believe the exposure and depth etc. Various settings in here. Um, for each of those altitudes as you go up to to make them go away. Yeah, actually, it doesn't look like it goes too crazy. Um, see, Florida looks a bit foggy, but it still looks all right. So I'm just going to let this boost up to a really high altitude just so I can see. Make sure it doesn't, you know, I didn't miss any effect uh, boundaries. You know, I might not have been paying enough attention. Maybe it did go really hazy for a while, or maybe just some of the other settings I changed have fixed that as well. Uh, so as you can see, no clouds. You know, this is without RVE. Um, just testing with Scatter, and it you know uses um, saves a good bit of memory. So there's a, just a lot less pressure. So if you want things to look you know like this, if you're not too interested in going through all the trouble to get the clouds to work, just download standard Scatter, and I'll post my config. Um, the only thing I think currently isn't saved to config, but that should change soon, is uh, this setting. I think I changed slightly to the setting Nathan Cow was suggesting, but I used to use what, 650, something like that. Or just a little more at the edge, and I may as well save that. I don't know. It doesn't uh, bother me either way. Um, but yeah, that, that setting doesn't save, so Alt F11 and setting this. So if um, the default you'll end up with at the beginning is something small, like that. And so if you're wondering, why there's the little baby earth in there that's the setting you want to adjust and as far as I'm aware it's not currently saved to a config that you can just pass around or you move between your installs but that is the quick trick to fix that um, all right I think I'm out to enough of an altitude I would have seen something crazy so yeah it all looks good uh, so I'll post a link to my config you'll let me know if it doesn't work for you or you know if, if you end up with any, any weird issues with it um, and if you see any way to kind of deal with this line uh, it's quite obvious at the Milky Way it's really not ob obvious anywhere else it looks like maybe it's I don't know relative to that plane or something about the, the sunlight I'm not sure I might start probably fiddling with the sun flare at some point soon because you know, the default one doesn't look you know, it doesn't look bad but it doesn't really do anything for me. It really doesn't help with making um, sunsets from orbit look cool either. So I will um, change that at some point. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.